to get going Gotta catch those runners taking off like a Boeing If the volume spikes, then it's time to trade Mighty 90 setting up, it's time to get paid Dr. Chad on the mic, time to get focused We don't need any indicator, hocus pocus It's all about the price, just watch it move Manage your risks so you don't lose First hour of trading is all we need Focus on the patience and forget about greed What is up, everyone? Happy Tuesday. It's October 15th, 2024. Dow futures down 135. NASDAQ futures up 17. S&P futures up 4. VIX down two-thirds of a percent. VIX was up about 45 minutes ago and now it's now it's down so no one DTE for me VIX at 19.57 a lot of all time highs yesterday Let's see what today brings NVIDIA hit a lot of all-time highs, uh, pulling back a little bit this morning. Apple up about 1%. Microsoft about two-thirds. Boeing two-thirds of a percent. Baba down three and a half. Baidu down two and two-thirds. Morning, Ken. Morning, Fast. Morning, JG. There is the bell. S&P up three, NASDAQ up six. Dow down 145. We get a spike in VIX here. I might look into a one DTE. Other than that, other than that, I will not. Morning, Eric. Looks right. Looks like right now you can get about an 80 wide one DTE, but the VIX is down, so I'm gonna pass. And premiums already low. It's just odd that premiums on the zero DT are so low, given that the 
VIX is, you know, NASDAQ pushing up a little bit. Morning up here. Tesla pushing up through yesterday's high. Get a new bar here shortly. In our second bar here, Morning Lucky. NASDAQ pushing up. Looking for some big volume here, not seeing any quite yet. Volume looks pretty low, actually. MU getting a growing bar, but it's in the opposite direction right now. Goog is pulling back a little bit to yesterday's high. 
might be a potential early upside continuation. It wants to stay above that yesterday's high. Keep an eye on it. So MU is getting a big bar, but it's in the opposite direction. So we'll ignore that. Roku has some potential, maybe. So Roku looks like it's going to get there. It's got a pretty tight range. See, looking at Roku, I would trade the 78 calls. See if it'll pull back to 7 or to 115. May have already missed it. I got an order at 78 calls, 115. Like I said, I may have missed it. Look for some mighty nineties now. Not much shaking out of the gates today. Roku's got such tight range.
Roku's getting another big bar now. Not much shaking. So we'll sit and be patient. Let me go ahead and cancel my Roku. Getting a big red bar now, so. Don't play a trade that gets a big green, then a big red next, you know, back to back. Yeah, meta not 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 gonna get there. Yeah, very low volumes today. Oh now Ro now Roku's ended up flipping green. No, it's not a mighty 90. So those volume bars are bigger than the first. I just missed Roku when it pull, pulled back here on this uh, third bar. Missed it. It popped up about the time I was trying to place the order. But the range hasn't gone up very high, so... Uh, Neil Noob, you're going to have to be more specific on which strategy. NVIDIA coming down. Well, here in the live stream in the mornings, we trade the Mighty 90, the Continuation Runner, and the Volume Runner. So which one are you having questions about, or do you have questions about all of them? And that, That's what our courses are for. If I spend my live stream teaching, then I'm not trading. 
But if you have a if you have if you have a specific question about a specific strategy, you know, then that's it's different. But if you haven't watched the courses, that's the first thing you need to do. It's the Mighty 90, Continuation Runner, and Volume Runner. There's three of them that I trade in this morning live stream. So which do you have a specific question about a specific strategy? Yeah, one of the strategies is a mighty 90. Is is your question about the mighty 90 or is it just about all of them in general? A volume runner is when the volume bar is, is bigger than the first. Or so like Roku, the volume bar was bigger than the first. And that's a volume runner. So like NVIDIA is getting a downside volume runner right now. This is getting bigger than the first. And it's in the same direction. Like they're both red. They're not opposites. NVIDIA was trying to bounce there a little bit. NVIDIA, I would trade the 136 puts. See if I can get filled here on the 136 puts at 220. We take the opposite side and get the what? So, well, which strategy are you talking about, Neil Noob? Not for a volume runner, no. Yeah, I, I just need to know what I need to know what strategy you're asking about. A volume runner, we're not going opposite, no. Yeah, it's right here on my chart, Chris. Nah, Meta's not really a mighty... Meta wasn't a mighty 90. I mean, this is not a mighty 90. Did it work? Yes. But that doesn't... I mean, it doesn't make it just because it came down here. It doesn't make it a mighty 90. I never trade mighty 90s that look like that. Uh, Coinbase had a big volume bar for a volume runner. I missed that one too. Um, 
Neo Noob, which which uh, which courses have you have you watched for these strategies? I'm canceling my NVIDIA. I missed that one. I don't know. Maybe, maybe Neo Noob left. I'm not, I don't know. Yeah, Tesla may get a little volume pop here. Yeah, but 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 which strategy? Like day trading for options, like that's that's the overall course, but there's specific strategies. Okay. Yeah. Mighty 90s when you get volume pop where one's bigger than the previous. Like Tesla's getting close. But it can't be just like barely above it. It's got to have good separation. So is that is that the only one you reviewed? You didn't review the volume runner or continuation runner? Because those are the other two that I trade here. Mighty 90, yes. We 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 go the opposite. Okay, that's probably why you're confused when I was talking about volume runners. And so Tesla got a bigger volume bar, which is a mighty 90. However, it doesn't have the price push. So it's not a mighty 90 now. I miss Coinbase. Darn it. Boeing had a mighty 90 I missed as well. So let me put Boeing on here since I'm not in any trades. So this is a good example of a mighty 90 in Boeing. So you had clear volume pop. Same direction. You had a price push up. You want to get short right there. And you're looking for two consecutive red bars. That's a mighty 90. Video pushing up a little bit. Uh, 
I'm going to get short here on this NVIDIA as it pushed up. It's going to add that big red volume bar for a downside volume runner. 136 puts. See if I can get filled at 220. Build at 217 in NVIDIA for a downside volume runner. A little late, but that's all right. So I would close half at... At 240. So again, if you're new, volume runner here, this bar is bigger than the first. It's in the same direction. So on a bounce, I got short. You want we want to continue lower. Build at 240 to close half. Uh, I would close another NVIDIA at 260. Oh, wow. Filled at, filled at 262. Close another NVIDIA. I would close another at 280. I scale out at about 10%. Every 10%. S&P had a pretty, pretty decent pullback on that last five-minute bar. reason I liked NVIDIA there, obviously, besides it being a volume runner setup, was it's weak on the day, coming off all-time highs. Now, if it pushes up above... Yesterday's low here. Then I then I would close it. No pullback in Coinbase.
S&P's been in about a 10 point range since it opened. Goog pushing up through highs of day. NVIDIA popping back up. Taking away some of my profits. See, we want NVIDIA to continue lower. Don't want it to pop up like this. Need a rollover in NVIDIA. I was considering also a upside continuation runner in Apple, but uh, didn't pull the trigger on it. So you just hit all time highs again. The S&P has been super choppy. So there's been a few opportunities today missed Missed a few of them. Yep, that uh, this could be a continuation runner here. Push up, it's pausing a little bit. You want it to continue higher. Nvidia is still struggling. I wanted to get through. I wanted to break through lows of day, though. VIX has been coming up a little bit.
And Goog stands strong. Nidia trying to come through Lowe's. What will the S&P do? Will it break through Lowe's first or break through highs first? Nvidia trying to go through lows. Build at two eighty eight. Close another Nvidia. Close another NVIDIA at 310. So the S&P cracked through lows of day. Nice drop in NVIDIA. Go to 310 to close another NVIDIA. Close another NVIDIA at 340. Now let's go 330. Let's go 330. Roku going through highs of day. Build a 330 in NVIDIA to close another. Get out of another at 360. Build at 360. This is what a downside volume runner is supposed to do. Get another big red bar in NVIDIA. 
I got two contracts left. Oh, my question was answered. S&P is going to break through the lows before it breaks through highs. That's good when you run out of contracts and you've been scaling out. Yeah, another big bar in NVIDIA to the downside. Yeah, Meta, Meta get a little mighty 90. Meta, I would trade the 585 calls. See if I can get filled at six bucks. Filled at five ninety in Meta on a mighty ninety. Filled at three eighty in Nvidia. Got one contract left. I'll put it at four thirty. All right, need a little bounce in meta now. So I may add in 
meta. If it gets to like 5.30. Phil at 4.30 in NVIDIA, out of NVIDIA. Wow, what a trade. I got to order in at 5.30 to add in Meta. And I'm out of my NVIDIA. I got filled at 4.30 on that one to close my last NVIDIA. Build in NVIDIA at 5.30 to add. I would close half my NVIDIA at 590. Which was which was my original fill. Or yeah, meta. So I'm so used to like getting filled in NVIDIA. Uh incorrect chess master. It was a mighty 90 when I entered. And, and I position size to add. Like I, everything I do is intentional. So I intended to get on a mighty, this mighty 90 because it had volume separation. It had a price push down. And I position size to add once it continued lower than I add. Right here's the price push down, pushes down again. Here's my ad. I, I, I traded these thousands of times. Well, I always position size to add in a mighty 90. Like, I don't always add because price doesn't continue to go against me, but it's important to position size to add. Like, that's part of the mighty 90 strategy. Also, a key level was it had come down to lows and bounced. So when I got in right here, that's another reason to get in. So I got in at the appropriate time. It just flushed a little more. That's why I added.
Um, I close it out when I get two consecutive green bars. S&P coming back down to lows. So waiting for two consecutive green bars out of Meta. Don't know if I'll get in anymore. It's coming up on 930 Central, which after the first hour, I really don't trade these strategies. See if we can get two nice green bars here out of Meta. Yeah, so Eric D, um, a volume runner, meta, the volume bar was bigger than the first. That's a volume runner. Here, this bar is not bigger than the first, so it's not a volume runner. That's That's the difference. To be a volume runner, you have to have a bar bigger than the first. So none of these bars are bigger than the first in meta. So there's no volume runner. Filled at 590 to close half my meta. And that is why we add. I'll close another meta at So I'll continue to scale out of my meta if it continues up, uh, or I'll close it after two consecutive green bars.
S and P coming back down to lows. Man, Coinbase had a big reversal. Oh, holy, holy S and P drop. VIX now positive. Yeah, Eric D. Uh, volume runner has to be bigger. The volume bar has to be as big as the first. And so, yeah, that's once you, once that happens, you know it's a potential volume runner. If 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 the volume bars aren't bigger than the first, then it can't be a, a volume runner. Yeah, volume is the key for both volume runner and mighty ninety. Now a continuation runner, it's pretty much price action. Don't really use any volume for a continuation runner. You're just looking for it to continue in a direction. So Mighty 90 volume runner, we're looking at volume along with price. Continuation runner, we're just looking at price. That makes sense. Meta coming down here a little bit. Maybe get a little flush today. I mean, when you hit all-time highs, day after day, at some point, there's going to be some flushing happening. But notice how I never, never panicked. Not panicking on my Meta yet. All indices are in the red. So Meta is withstanding this push down, which is a good sign for the Mighty 90. NVIDIA, man, it, it continued lower even. Yeah, meta, meta coming down now. So we might be in the middle of a little bit of a flush.
So good thing I got out of half my meta. That definitely helped. NASDAQ down 160. S&P down 14. Now, I don't usually trade these strategies after 930 Central, but uh, for teaching purposes, Microsoft is getting some volume pop here. Okay. It's also getting a price push. So what strategy would this be? As long as this bar does not get bigger than the first. Any answers? Go ahead and type it in the chat. What strategy is Microsoft currently showing here? With volume pop right here. And a price push. Reversal is not the name of a strategy, you know, noob. I want the name of the strategy. There you go. Mighty 90. Yes, you buy calls. You would buy calls here. It's a Mighty 90 long. You exit when you get two consecutive green bars. <clears throat> I'm not trading it because I don't trade these strategies after 930 Central. But I was just giving you an ex example of uh, what a mighty 90 looks like. So, yeah, so I'm not going to get in any more new trades. And I'm sitting here with a mighty 90. I'm waiting for two green bars. Haven't even gotten one yet. So I just got to decide. Do I be patient and wait for that those two green bars? Or do I just close the trade and move on? I mean, I'd have a nice green day if I just closed this trade out. I mean, it's like a $70 loser for me right now. And my NVIDIA was over a thousand bucks. So I'm going to wait a little bit longer. You, know, you, still, you get in a flush like this, you don't know how long it's going to last. Hmm. Yeah, so Neo Neo Noob, you were right in when you said reversal. And yes, you you want it to go. You want to go long, but that's not the name of the strategy. Might be getting some more flush here, folks. I'm not sure if there was any news or anything. I do have to get one of my dogs to the vet by 1030 Central. So at some point, I'm going to have to close this baby out. Be nice to get two consecutive green bars here right now.
Man, NVIDIA is just full of big volume bars today. Man, I wonder. I wonder what my calls are worth and or my puts are worth in Nvidia. Let's see, one thirty six put. Seven forty. Wow. <laughs> that was a monster winner. Could have been even better. All right, Meta is also coming down to a pivot now. So it's a key level that I'd like to see it bounce off the pivot. Meta's given one, two, three mighty 90 signals. So again, I'm still holding it. It gave me one green bar. Can it pop up and give me two consecutive? Yeah, I mean you could since you since I've already gotten out of half. I I wouldn't have I wouldn't add if. If I hadn't gotten out of half, no. But yeah, I mean, I've done that before. I've, you know, you you get out of half on a bump up and then it continues, in this case, lower and you add back in. I've done that before. Um, I didn't see a oh, price. Yeah, so price came back down to about 530, 520. Yeah. It could have been could have been a really nice uh second ad there, Ken. I like how you're thinking. I didn't because I can't stay on much longer. But we may be getting our two green bars here anyway. Something else you can do, you know, Meta's pretty much, it's pretty much, you know, hasn't been caught up too much in this big blush, like some of these other stocks, like Microsoft, NVIDIA, Amazon. So even if you get a couple consecutive green bars, you know, you can leave a contract or two on to see if it continues to bounce if you want. I've done that many times. I think I did that on a short here recently. Love to see it push up to where I originally got in at. But if you you know if you think this market's going to continue to flush, then you, you definitely want to get out after some, two green bars. Which would probably be the smart thing to do. We've got we've got some stocks getting bigger green bars here, but some like 
I think Microsoft is still still coming down. All right, we're getting a second green bar here. So I'm going to go ahead and close out my meta. Let me give it just a second. See if it pops back up, gives me a better feel here. Come on. No, nope, it's not. All right. Filled it five bucks. So, bummer. A small loser, minus 120. I thought if it might, it might pop up just a little bit here and you know, I could get out for maybe a $120 winner. Instead, I was a $120 loser. So, not too bad, though. What is that? Plus eight eighty seven on the day. See here, here, here it's doing what I wanted it to do now. Look at that. See how it pop it's popping up now. That's what I was waiting for. It just didn't do it quick enough. And that's just years and years of watching price action. All right, guys. I'll see everybody during power hour. Have a good one. Peace.